According to a Defense One report, the United States Air Force is preparing their nuclear bombers to be on a 24 hour alert system, which means that if the president were to order a nuclear strike at any time of day, these bombers will be ready to go because the Air Force is go ahead is going to go ahead and prep them because they are anticipating the president to ask them to be ready. As it stands right now, Donald Trump has not officially asked the Air Force to be on 24 hour high alert. However, officials within the military, uh, military experts do believe that that request from the Trump administration will be coming very soon. So they're going ahead and getting a jump on it and preparing to be ready 24 hours a day to drop a nuclear bomb on whoever Donald Trump tells them to go drop a nuclear bomb on. It has been decades in the United States since uh, the Air Force has put their nuclear bombers on a 24 hour alert. Uh, last time they did it was at the height of the Cold War uh, when it was firmly believed that a nuclear weapon would be fired at the United States and they wanted to be ready to retaliate. At this point, we are not technically necessarily at war with a hostile force who has the capability of launching any kind of uh, incredibly devastating weapon towards the United States. What the military is anticipating is that Donald Trump has got an itchy trigger finger and he wants to drop some kind of uh, weapon of mass destruction on North Korea or potentially Iran, given his uh, increasingly angry and untruthful statements about uh, the country of Iran. This is unprecedented here in the United States. Um, back when we were on 24 hour alert last time, there was actually reasonable suspicion to believe that a nuclear weapon could be launched against the United States and they wanted to be ready. That doesn't necessarily justify it, but they felt they had enough reason. Donald Trump and the Air Force are preparing for a nuclear first strike. That's what's different. We have not been attacked. Nobody has officially declared war against the United States. And as far as we know about North Korea, their weapons probably can't make it over here to US shores. But that's not stopping Donald Trump, a man who has repeatedly asked why we don't just go out and nuke people anymore. This is a very dangerous step for the United States and it's sending a signal all around the world to both our, our allies and our enemies alike that the United States is absolutely ready at a moment's notice to go kill a few million people with an ultra devastating nuclear weapon because Donald Trump is just that unhinged of an individual. If you're thinking about subscribing to our channel, I strongly encourage you to do that. But if you're not thinking about subscribing, I would encourage you to start thinking about it. And then once you're thinking about it, actually go and do it. You can see the subscribe button right there on the screen. Or if you're watching on a different platform, go to youtube.com slash the ring of fire.